<laughs> Good evening, everyone, and welcome to All Games No Masters, the GM Lessly, uh, the GM Less show for the uh, Exploration Society. Welcome, welcome, <laughs> welcome, everyone. As you can see, we are all very full of beans right here. <laughs> I uh, just want to remind you all that tonight is the second part of Goblin Quest, uh, the pick by the most uh, wonderfully irreverent Max Isaacson. Um, and uh, yeah, before we get into all of like the goals and stuff like that, let's just go around real fast and introduce everybody, starting with Randy. Hello, uh, I'm Randy Alvarenga. I'm playing uh, the Scraggledorf Clutch. <laughs> And Max! Hey, I'm Max Isaacson. I'll be playing the Pliable Clutch. And Amanda! <laughs> I'd forgotten, but I am Amanda <laughs> Powers, I? and I am playing Clutch Fart Noodle. Yay! And I'm Aki. I'm playing Clutch Seaman. <laughs> um, the Seaman Clutch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> game is great. This is a great game. Great, great game. So, everybody, we are aiming for $250 per episode and or 15 new subs, Patreon pledges. You know, whatever amalgamation of that total we get, you know, we're into it. Uh, hitting a $250 allows us to pay this amazing cast. And look at them. Aren't they all beautiful and lovely? Uh, and it helps keep content like this on the air. And, of course, you want this content is good. Um even if you can't afford to back us, uh, please spread the word. Tell all your friends, tell your pets, tell your grandparents, like anybody, anybody with a computer, anybody with a phone, tell them about our show because our show fucking rocks. Um, and make sure uh, to bring them on by. Uh, we do have another uh, unlock goal tonight uh, for rerolls for the table. Last week, you helped us raise $75 to unlock rerolls for the table. Uh, this week, we're up in the ante just a little bit. $100 will unlock a set of rerolls for the table. And if we get an additional $50 on top of that, we'll get even more. Um, things are bound to get ridiculous. Um, these rerolls could potentially help us roll worse, which in this game is kind of a fun incentive. Uh, so yeah, uh, think about getting that dono train going. Uh, also, on top of that, $15, 1,500 bits, or five gift subs will allow you to send us a message and we'll read it right here on the air. And heck, maybe uh, we'll read it to you in our goblin voices. Maybe maybe some goblin voices will be done uh, to read your lovely messages to us. Um, you can save 10% at Die Hard Dice by using the code SAVINGTHROWSHOW at checkout. Use command D-H-D-I-C. E, uh, in chat for links and info. That's exclamation point DH dice. Uh, and you can order our friend Critical Bard's dice set. Uh, they're beautiful. You definitely want to grab those. You can get your 10% off on those. And and that way you'd be helping like all the people that we love right here uh, at Saving Through Show. And of course, for anybody who is watching us on YouTube, thank you so much. Please do us a solid and leave a like, ring the bell, comment, subscribe. Make sure your comments are nice. Uh, if they're not, I mean... Who are you? Uh, uh, make sure you do the whole whole thing. Um, it really helps the show and the channel as a whole. And lastly, uh, of course, please consider joining the Patreon and being a part of the new Exploration Society. Uh, your sport comes with like a ton of perks, uh, lots of rewards like pins, swag, merch discounts, one page of adventures written by our crew. Apparently, a couple of them uh, feature really fun, cool characters created by the people here at Saving Throw Show. Um, so yeah, be part of us as a society and join us now. Uh, we would also like to thank Roll20 for helping to make this season possible. Um, I think that is all from Moa. Um, uh, thank you, Mini Marker. Already, ooh, we haven't even started playing ooh. again. Yes. One, thank two, you. We are just three, that four. good. Okay, we Mini are. Marker, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've got our first donation, setting off the uh, chain of events that might eventually bring us to Reroll City. Uh, also, want to remind everyone that next week is our season finale. Uh, our season finale will be taking place next week. Full disclosure, uh, I am going to be on vacation next week. So we are pre-recording this episode. Uh, hopefully that will not deter you for coming in and joining our shenanigans anyway. Uh, but it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I'm really excited to announce what game we're going to be playing at the end of today's session. 
Uh, I'm excited are... to be in chat and, and join people watching that episode. All right. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, you might see a couple of us sneak into chat and, and watch with all of you. We um, all promise to forget everything we did. I mean, so it's just as fresh for us as it is for you. We're we're old. I I I I, I, I mean, I'm it's sure. possible. It's, you know, fifty <laughs> fifty. I could go either way. I mean, I I mean, I guess I won't speak for the rest of you, but I'm old, so yeah. I thought you were going to say that you can't speak for the rest of us, and that you go either way. <laughs> I mean, I do, but you know, but we can't actually hear you, Amanda. You muted. Oh, that's because my cat and my dog were about to have it out, and I was like, uh oh. <laughs> All right. Anyway, it's just something very exciting. So, sorry you missed it. No problem. Max, you ready to take us so uh, take us up, up, up and away? I'm ready to take us in so many directions. Uh, thank you, Aki. <laughs> You're um, welcome. <laughs> yeah, so welcome to week two of Goblin Quest, everybody. The game in which we all get to play a group of inevitably doomed, cursed goblins who are on a fantastical and oftentimes benign and foolish quest um, that will inevitably destroy many of them. Um, we are about halfway through our journey, which uh, I, we will tell you a little bit about. So let's get into recap mode. <laughs> um, first, we're going to our clutches, a little bit about our clutches, so you remember who we are, what our deal with deal is, how many of us are dead, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Um, how about uh, we begin with Amanda? Would you like to tell us uh, your clutch, uh, a little bit of their specialities, and uh, how many are dead, and what goblin we're on? If we if we could get that info, that would be great. Uh, sure. So, um, again, I am from uh, I have goblins from uh, Clutch Fart Noodle. Um, they are very good at eavesdropping, although unfortunately that hasn't come in handy yet. Um, they all have an extra finger on each hand, and their dream is to be classy. Um, first was Herkel, who had giant feet. He is gone. Second is Gorkin. They were scared of the dark, and they are also gone. Third, uh, Flib barely had time to live before they were immediately... <laughs> immediately killed by their own stupidity. Uh, he oh, didn't even so have a good. chance to be always angry. <laughs> um, it's an adorable trait. And my current goblin is goblin number four. Uh, their name is Eek! <laughs> uh, and they don't, they don't walk, they hop. <laughs> All right. And Slow. that's where we're at. Um, Aki, tell us about your clutch and your goblin. Sure. Uh, I am from the Seaman Clutch. And, um, yeah. There's an A my, in there. Yes. My, uh, my, uh, trans my expertise is in transformations and disguise. Um, I wonder why. Uh, their quirk is uh, they have a mole that every single one of them has a mole that keeps changing position on their face. Um, and they care, they, their dream is to be crowned leader. They carry with them a scepter of peacemaking, which is nothing more than an old rusty spoon. Uh, last week, you met Luna, who had long, thin, white hair. Uh, they are gone. Uh, and you met Hermes, who had big, thick-rimmed glasses. They are also gone. Now we are hanging out with Aries, Seaman Aries, and uh, they have a burn scar on one side of their face. Gosh, I wish I had come up with a theme for this clutch. I, I really think I missed the mark here. I know. It's, it's like there are no classic things from our childhood that this would have anything to do with. Not, none at all. <laughs> it's a shame. Ah, my food is here. Sorry. Next time. Uh, Randy, while Aki is uh, so is taking now. care of staying alive, um, tell me about your clutch. Yeah, so I'm part of, or my goblins, not Randy, 
but my goblins are part of it could be you Crabble too Door. you're allowed to also be part of clutch <laughs> I, i'm okay i i i <laughs> uh so clutch scraggledorf is uh their expertise is pyrotechnics which means they just like setting fires really it's not really they like to think they're cooler than they are um their quirk is that uh they all have they replace their canine teeth with like stones that are like vampire teeth it's it's just what they do that's why they all have vampire teeth for those who have seen our twitter you'd see that um, and then the dream is to go out in a blaze of glory. One, uh, and then the ancestral heirloom is the magical stone of weeping, which they just use to throw at people and cause weeping. It, it does what it says it's going to do. <laughs> that seems like an incredibly Respect. effective artisanal, uh, artisanal ancestral heirloom. And uh, so, so just to recap who, who it is, it's uh, we had Sidey who was the goblin who had an eye patch, mm-hmm. went out in a blaze of glory because they were they did it. They did their dream. They did. And, and then uh, Curly is our current uh, goblin, and they have curly hair. Surprise, surprise. Makes sense to me. Uh, all right. Well, I uh, my goblins are part of the pliable clutch. Uh, their expertise is bending before breaking. Uh, which does imply that they will inevitably break. Uh, their quirk is an eerie lack of wrinkles. Think Smooth Yoda, everybody's favorite Yoda. Uh, there is greatness, uh, which I think they take quite literally. Uh, their ancestral heirloom is the bean can of finger cutting, which I don't think we've gotten to use yet. So I note to self, use the bean can. Get on top of it. Um, the two goblins who tragically have passed uh in last week's game were binko rest his soul i believe he was swallowed up into a quasi molten pile of just (laughs) forming goblin no 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 no. i'd forgotten about that no it was truly horrifying it was pure body horror it was imagine the worst most cronenbergian thing in the world um and then limpet uh, who I uh, was smacked so hard that they turned into a goblin pancake, essentially, and were launched across <laughs> town into a pumpkin patch, uh, which is essentially where uh, we left off last week. Uh, Limpet was turned into a, something of a discus uh, by a, an orc, I think, and uh, and and the team saw a very enticing pumpkin patch uh, to go find. Now, I want to talk a little bit about where we've been and where we're going. Uh, Goblin Quest is a game that is built around the idea of setting goals. Uh, You set uh, three kind of goals for uh, different tasks, and then inside each task you have kind of sub-goals in order to get your task completed, which we all made up last week. So... Uh, task one from last week was to learn to make a magical charcuterie board uh, in which we had to steal a recipe book. Uh, we had to trap a magical chicken. And then we had to actually learn to make the charcuterie board. Uh, we did that for an old crone, I believe, who then gave us tickets to the ball. Um, our next task was to attend the ball. Uh, which was what we're in the middle of right now. So the first thing we had to do was find an outfit, um, which was very exciting. We had to find one outfit yeah, for all of tall, our Yeah, it had to be too. yeah tall enough for all of us. Uh, I get to be the face. I'm very excited. That's true. I think I'm the legs. Is it where I, I don't know. <laughs> well, I think. well, Limpet was. Well, Limpet was the legs. So who <laughs> knows now? Who knows what Scrum is going to do. But um, And then we had to learn to dance which we did by sneaking into a bar and uh, <laughs> causing quite a bit of chaos and also possibly, I believe definitely actually destroying the entire bar, right? We did, we did, we destroyed yeah. the whole bar. Yeah, oh yeah, it like it sank fell over. and like that's where my fart noodles came into play. They were very yes. helpful. You quite literally farted, farted noodles, noodles. Yeah. and I that's what happened. That's what happened. heart attack. <laughs> no, that's what happened is whilst, whilst farting noodles, 
freaking Fliv unfortunately expired. <laughs> That's what oh, happened. Oh, right. Fliv One farted only... noodles to death. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, this is a serious game. Get it together, I like, everybody. I cannot believe I legit just tackled. But that, there you are. I can't believe that sentence just was said. It's awesome. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Look, uh, I know Ooh. that Amanda will do many things in her life, but it is entirely possible that in the year 3535, when Amanda finally passes and we have to carve a gravestone, it will say, invented a character named Flib. <laughs> who farted noodles to death. <laughs> like, we no can never forget this moment. No higher <laughs> achievement. Anyway. <laughs> so, right. Flib, thank you for your sacrifice. Oh, I did forget something. Can Noodle I say flip. one thing? I forgot to you, tell y'all what my ancestral heirloom was. Oh, oh yeah. I left that out. So, uh, the fart noodles wear the incredibly lucky hat, which is just a pot turned upside down. Yes. That is important. Yeah. Yeah. Um, should be noted and respected. Um, all right. So we are currently on the third piece of our task, number two, which is, I believe is to secure transportation, notably yep. fancy transportation. Mm -hmm. So we got to get fancy, um, as it were. So we found a pumpkin patch uh, on the other side of town that could possibly yield some fancy. Um, our third task. Uh, just so that you know where we're going with all of this, is to find a suitor. Uh, and, no, it's to enter into society. We must enter into society. Uh, three agents of society are one, figure out who's in charge <laughs> because we are dumbos and we don't actually know how this works. Two, show off our excellent manners, which we obviously have and in in just preposterous excess. And three, to find a suitor. <laughs> uh, so we must get someone to fall so deeply in love with us that we are being actively courted, uh, which in our estimation would be um, enough for us to consider ourselves having entered society. Um, we are now in the game, as they say, here in Goblinton. Um, so yeah. It's sexy, it's fun, it's full of goo, it's Goblin Quest. Um, I have gone, my turn has happened, Amanda's turn has happened, Randy, Aki. I leave it to you. We are in a collapsing building. I think uh, we escaped there are the fart building. noodles no, we, everywhere. We escaped. We're, oh, we're, that. we're in the are we in the in the Yeah, like you were in the pumpkin patch now. patch. And now we gotta like figure out how to make it into a fancy transportation. And this is why nobody lets right? me actually run things. I for, honestly, I, though, I forget what my action even was, to be honest with you. I, I think it was the remember. noodle farting. I think it was saving us from said well, thinking. <laughs> well, that was for learn to dance, wasn't it? Was that for so no, learning to the dance. actions don't go by thingy. They just go, they just go, all four of us need to go, and oh, then all four of us go again. Right. So they don't go by Okay, by fair enough. So I think we just, like, two of us still have to go in fancy transportation. Uh so, um, do you have any ideas, Aki? I I think I think our next move now that we have found our pumpkin is we got to figure <laughs> out how to turn it into something that like if I push it and it rolls, it moves. But like, is that transportation? Doesn't feel like we could get anywhere. Maybe we could learn how to like. Like run on them or something? Oh, we could hollow it out and we could hide inside of it and then we could have it carried like to make a pie or something like that. That could be transportation. But all four of us getting in this pumpkin may not work. It's is it big enough for four goblins? I, I don't I don't oh, no. know. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Maybe a wizard oh. could help us. I know we've already asked oh. and we kind of ignored us, but like, oh, let's ask a different one. Yeah. I bet oh, there's I like a million of those things. I forgot my I forgot my voice. But yeah, <laughs> I mean, let's ask a different one. Yeah, I I feel like the the wizards they have magic. Maybe they can make our pumpkin bigger. <gasps> so maybe we what, can. What if we just found a magical like a like um. 
Oh, like like a wand or something? What if we just borrowed one? Oh. I, or oh. I, I, bet, I don't know how hard could it be, right? You I mean, know, not to borrow a wand. Right, we'll get okay. it back. Oh, well, I've got an idea then. Uh, how? Oh. Whoa. No, I, no. I don't have an idea. Borrowing the wand, we could cause a distraction and then the other goblins can go in and take it. I mean, I think this is uh, a really great idea. Take what? Take what though? Take what? The wand. The wand. Oh, okay. Yes. That way we can do the magic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. yeah, 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 yeah so yeah, how yeah, about yeah, yeah, yeah. this? I could set their house on fire. Oh. I know. Curly, I know. Curly. I don't. Oh. I don't know if I can think of a better idea than that. That's like <laughs> that's like a hundred percent gonna work. I just, yes. I really think it's genius. It's literally a no fail idea. Like yeah. for real. Like I clap. Oh, I just I love it. I love it so much. All right. Um, but now we need to find the wizard. Uh, and so uh, Curly's going to look for a wizard in town. Okay. All Good right. luck. So <clears throat> we're at a DC four, right? Yes. Yes. Stage three has a difficulty rating of four. We've had one success, which is that we found the pumpkin patch. So yeah. we have three more successes to get this figured right. out. So searching around town, looking. Uh, so the only thing that Curly really remembers is being made and seeing a wizard and then that's it. So how do you find a wizard? <laughs> I guess you look for a really tall tower, right? And so uh, starts looking for everything. Uh, there's a tower off uh, a little bit of ways and that's where Curly points the group at, goes there and goes, all right, Get ready. I'm going to set the biggest fire you could do. And I'm I, going I, to roll. Wait, but are you sure a wizard lives there? Are you sure? Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean a wizard's got to live there. Look how tall it is. Okay. Maybe, uh, sure. maybe, maybe somebody should check. Uh, Just to oh, be absolutely, yeah. totally sure. <sighs> I know exactly how to do it. And Aries kind of waves their... Sp- their their scepter of peacemaking mm. you know and they like kind of they kind of like do it, this with it a few times and after like two or three times of this when when they stop like it you've noticed that the entire time they've been doing this they've like been kind of shifting their clothes around and like you know picking stuff off the ground and kind of like rubbing it on their face like you know they're they're going through a, a transformation sequence basically and they do this uh in order to disguise themselves in order to be able to talk to the wizard and i think i have to roll for that yeah i would wager as much yes so i'm using i'm using my scepter of peacemaking and i'm using my transformation uh tech uh um expertise and then my other two d6. And do you know what our last roll was? So I, I went back and checked the VOD, uh, and there were no um, modifiers, as near as I cool. can tell. Unless All right, wild here we go. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. 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 I'm on a oh. roller coaster ride. Oh. Okay. <laughs> well, I, I rolled a four, so the next roll does have an, a plus one. <laughs> And I rolled a five, so I got a victory. Uh, I also rolled two twos. <laughs> yeah, you did. So I, as I, they're I, trying to disguise yeah. themselves in order to talk to the wizard, they whap themselves in the head with their own spoon really hard, and they kind of just go cross-eyed and fall over. But they look like a completely different goblin. Oh. You would never guess this was Ares. And in what way does this help us uh, get towards our goal of securing um, transportation? Oh, it gets the attention of Can the I wizard. Make... Oh, yeah, go ahead. 
What was the suggestion? I was just, I was going to suggest that w- upon watching uh, this happen and the noise happen, uh, Eek goes, Eek! When mm-hmm. you die. And, and it, it summons gets, somebody to the front door. Yeah, it gets the <laughs> wizard's <laughs> attention, wondering what the heck is going on. Why such chaos abounds. Chaos. All right. So, and, uh, wizard kind of comes out. So we do oh, have. What's <laughs> going on here? Uh, hey, Mister Wizard. What? What can I do for you? Oh, is that your name, Mister Wizard? No. Oh. But I do go by it oftentimes. Oh, okay. See, I told you he was a wizard. Well, I'm a wizard. <gasps> oh. You're so smart. Oh. All right. Um, oh, ding, dang, dang it. Ding, dang, dang it. What's right. that, goblin? Oh, oh hi. Hi, everyone. Hi. Uh, very nice to meet you. I am Seaman Juno. Oh. Nice to make your acquaintance. Hi, Juno. Hi. Oh, nice to How meet are all you? of you, too. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. Aries. Seaman Aries! Oh, Oh, they won't be missed much. Um, And the wizard kind of waves a very impressive looking wand. And Seaman Aries' body just turns into smoke and disappears. All right. Oh, bye. Bye. Goodbye, my fellow friend. Oh! All right. That's a very. Uh, I need to go to the bathroom. Around the side of the building. I'll be back. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was a lot of information. Oh, yeah, that was. Um, yeah. Yeah. um Mr. Wizard. <laughs> what oh, yeah. is your me? Yeah, yeah. Me? Oh, um, yeah. yeah I'm eek. All right. Uh, well, that that's a terrible name. I well. I don't know. Oh, I like really it. rude. I like getting to scream. It's fun because it's just not the same name if you don't scream. If you don't scream, it's just eek, and that doesn't really make any sense, does it? Well, now, Goblin, I suppose I understand where you're coming from with that. Yes, sir. Um, yes, that's a really nice wand. I just I wanted to know um, what's the coolest spell that you ever cast with it. Oh, Ooh, that's a good question. Thanks. Well, one time, a long time ago, I cast a spell that turned me from a horse wizard into a sort of a person wizard. You were a horse? (laughs) No, Goblin, I was a horse wizard. That's different. What's the difference? (laughs) <laughs> well, it would be like if you weren't just a goblin, you were a goblin wizard. Oh. Like if you were a special magical goblin who could cast magic spells and change the fate of the world and possibly better yourself into something more important than well, a pile what... of green goo put into a sack. Well, that's 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 what my scepter does. Oh, really? It gives me the power of transfer, uh, transformation. Well, then, I suppose you might be a goblin wizard. I am. Definitely a goblin wizard. <laughs> during, during all of this, Curly has been behind the house trying to break in through one of the windows. Uh, has sort of lifted it up and is back there trying to light a fire of some books. But let's roll to see what happens. Okay. I'm rolling um, three because yes. uh, one for my pyrotechnics. And you have a plus one. <laughs> oh boy. So, so uh, I definitely got a two. So I take an injury and I uh, for Curly. Did and you roll a two? Because you get a plus one. He did give you a bonus. You have yeah, a bonus. you have a plus one to all your rolls. All of them. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In that case, then I have a three 
a four. Which gives somebody... Oh, that cancels out, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Those become a bonus. And then, unfortunately, a six. Well, the three is a minus one and the four is a plus one, isn't it? So don't they just cancel each other out? Uh, no, if you have even amounts, you actually get the, the bonus. Oh, yeah, that's the good awesome. Thing. The, good thing the good thing wins, yeah. Yeah. So there's a plus one. <laughs> I'm not making Amanda happy by, by succeeding. So <laughs> I'm also not making myself happy. I want it to, well, to go Well, I mean, well, you, you do have a reroll. Short. I, I, I do have a reroll. <laughs> you could roll worse. Hey. This is uh, thanks better. to the audience last week. So I think I'm going to use that. Well, that's all our rerolls gone, and everybody. If you want to help us get more rerolls, we have a hundred dollar uh, uh, donation goal uh, to hit in order to unlock those rerolls. So if you want us to help, uh, if you want to help us roll worse, I mean better, then yeah, help us help us get them their rerolls. All right. So with the plus, do I still get the plus one, right? Yes, yes, you yes. Do. So then I yeah. do get a six. I still succeed. But Yay. but I got a one and a two, which t- changes to a two and a three. So the next person has a minus one, and uh, Curly still gets hurt. Um, Curly has two damages on them, I think, which means oh. bye-bye to Curly. Red. And then something bad happens on top of it, right? For the three? Yeah, because you rolled the three. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, but we still succeed at getting this wand. And so what I imagine... No, we... we, oh, we oh, yeah. Because yes, I think yes, yes. Go we ahead. Sorry, sorry. We had a success already, and then this success, right? Correct, correct. So... That's three I, successes, yeah. So I we think still we need... still need to get something for the transportation, right? Yes, um, but we have the wand. So what I imagine happens is Curly's back there trying really hard to light something on fire, like strike something, it sets some, uh, a, a book on fire, right? Curly turns around really triumphantly thinking that they've just done a great job. And then they go, what's that smell? And then realize slowly that the back of their outfit was stuck in the book. <laughs> And they are now on fire. So they start oh. screaming, run oh, out no. of the building, bump, in, bump into the wizard, oh. knocking the wand out of his hand. And then sort of like falls on the ground and is just like, I did it. <gasps> no, no scrum, no scrum, oh no. No, grieve leader, run now, run. <laughs> You did what? Oh, oh God! Oh, oh, uh, oh! Bye, Mister Wizard. Bye. Well, been an absolute pleasure, there, goblins. Oh no! Smell something? Oh, that was curly. <laughs> yeah, that was curly. It was sorry, sorry, curly. Scrum, Where are you? Scrum. Oh, sorry. I'm right over here. Just, are you, are you um, running? We have to run. We have to run. Are you running? Come on! I got it. I got oh, the wand. Oh. I got the wand. Do you know has it? Hanging out at the pumpkin patch, leaning on a giant pumpkin, is a goblin with a mullet. And he thinks he's super cool. Hi. Oh, hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. Who are, who are you? I'm Happy. Oh. oh, hi, Happy. Yeah. Oh, that must be nice. No, uh, yeah, it's it's super awesome. Okay. I don't know how to tell you this, but I'm incredibly intimidated and attracted to you. Oh, that's all. So, that's so nice. You're you're awesome. Uh, you, oh. you guys are the best. I know my 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 brother or sister, they sibling. just died, but sibling, they died. But uh, you know, I couldn't be happier to make new friends. We have oh. a wizard's wand. <gasps> yeah. yeah, and uh. we need to make a fancy a fancy. Trans transportation with it. Yeah, transportation. Yeah. That's right. Oh, sorry. Oh, I, I said it wrong. Transportation. Yeah. Anybody know how to okay. use this thing? <gasps> Put it in your notes. <gasps> yeah. Oh. I bet that. Like be this. But like... what's it smell like? Mm, oh, clean wood. It's kind of gross. Oh. Very oh. very clean. Like, can oh, I, I can I borrow it real quick? Yeah. 
Go for it. Huh? <gasps> How's it taste? How's it, it taste? taste like? Um, it, uh, it, it, it tastes kind of sweaty. Mm. Like from mm. from holding it, I think. Oh yeah, um, my hands are kind of sweaty. Sorry. Can I borrow it for a sec? Oh sure, 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 sure. Oh, uh -oh. in the ear. Oh, how is that? It sounds crunchy. Oh, okay. Oh, that that um, might, maybe not I, good. Can I try? I think I figured it out. I yeah, think I figured sure. it out. I don't know if I want you to figure it out. <laughs> and then takes the the comb with like all this earwax and starts like trying to comb his hair. With... But nothing's happening. Oh no, but it's it's like waxy. Don't what? we have to tell it what we want it to do? Don't oh. we have to say make a transportation and and then it does? Okay, I'll try. Make a transportation. Here, you're you're doing that wrong. Let me have it. Ah. And uh uh, is going to try and cast a uh, um, a make transportation spell transportation. with this wand. Um, with this wand. So, um, let's see. They pay us the big bucks, y'all. <laughs> uh, well, you know. I think I'm gonna add one one die by having them use their incredibly lucky hat because mm -hmm. they know they're not a wizard, you know. So a little bit, it's like kind of a lot of luck is required here. Oh yeah. So it's a great call. Let's see how it goes. Because I have a negative one, right? Because of the. All right. Oh no. I believe in you. Interesting. 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 Okay. Um. I have to check on this because I don't remember. Okay, so if you roll less than one. Oh, damn it. Oh no, is that two injuries? Okay. Do you die? Oh no. Oh. <laughs> oh no. So that's yes. That's two fives and a one. So <clears throat> that makes two okay. fours oh, this is... and a zero. Um, and so if you score a zero or below, you have to take two injuries. Um, but then I also have two fours, which are two something goods. So two good things happen while oh, Eek bites it. I see. I believe is how that works. Or something extra good happens. Uh, all right. Coming up with imaginative death, goblin deaths, is, is not as easy as one would imagine. Um, unless you're Max. Uh, well, I'll give you a cue. You have a magic wand. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. Um, that is very gross. So <laughs> Crunchy and sweaty. So it is, and... it is very clearly too powerful. For a tiny, like gob it, like insubstantial goblin, um, but uh, they do go create transportation and just like kind of wildly go like this. Um, and the first swipe, somehow, uh, it's a very good wand, very like intuitive. Somehow turns four of those pumpkins into. Wagon oh, wheels. Did we, did we get successes? Wheels. Yeah. Oh, I thought you did. You said something good happens. So does that just mean something good that because it's the example yes, we says we don't have any victories. Something but... fortunate occurs. An enemy leaves or is defeated. A goblin gets a lucky break. A new opportunity is. Oh, I revealed. got a success. I did get a like a one success. Right. You got a success. Yeah, but right. we need I, one Amanda, more. I think, and I think yeah. Um, something, yeah, I mean, the wheels would be fine. I think something along the lines of that or, yeah. Because I mean, it doesn't I, make the whole okay, thing we, still. Wheels, it's right? Only... We still need to figure out the body. Okay, cool. Yeah, so it, um, I think that's one of the something goods is that it just accidentally is like, uh, well, I guess it makes more sense if the body happens with one accidental swing. So the biggest one instead, I'm going to say, turns into something you can sit in like a coach, but it's on the ground. There's nothing to take it anywhere. Uh, is that all right instead? That yeah. seems more plausible. Okay, um, um, it's your, I, it's your I, move, Amanda. I, I, I want to note that everything's all right. This game is chaos. 
Uh, so yeah, it's like, wah, ah, and then accidentally wah, hits something, and then uh, I'm literally right having to come up with a second. You know what? That's a good enough. That's a good enough big good thing. Okay. Uh, the second wild swing uh, ends up catching him right in the cheek, um, and you just see uh, all of a sudden uh, Eek gets smaller and then bigger. And then smaller, and then bigger, and then turns inside out and dies. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Tall, short, thick, thin, inside out. I and think it's... it was the lack of the swoosh and flick. <laughs> Ew, is, is, that the, is that the correct method, swish and flick? Uh, maybe. I, I, I think I heard that somewhere. I don't um, know why. Okay, now my question is, how do we make it move? It's big enough for all of us now. How do we make it move? Move. I guess, do we, we need to, something that can pull on it or, or like something we could put <sighs> it on? I don't know. What, 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 what you got? What you well, got, the wizard was a horse wizard. And so maybe it needs to do horse magic. And maybe we need to, we need to get horses to pull this thing, but maybe we need to make horses out of something else because I don't know what a horse is, but maybe the wand does because it came from a horse. Wizard. What about these worms in the ground? Will those <gasps> work? Oh, worms. yes. Uh, okay, okay, I got this. Oh, be careful, this. be careful. It's, it's very careful. Oh, Max, we lost the worms. you. Oh, no. Am I back? Hello. Yes. I'm just going to keep going. Wee. I'm yes. back in the game. Yes. 100%. I'm going to very gingerly take the wand and kind of point it at the worms and and just kind of like wiggle it around and be like, I'm doing horse magic, and I'm doing <laughs> horse magic. I need these horses for transportation. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> We're rolling. And, uh, yeah, and I'm all, I only have two dice, so my, my abilities are not helpful in this regard, but that's okay. The, um, the one person who's good at transformation has not contributed to the transformation of the transportation. What's yeah. up? Oh, well, let me just tell you about the snake eyes I just rolled. Oh! <laughs> that being said, we did but do... You get, we you get did, a plus one. Yes, we rolled... Because I got that two fives. doesn't help. It's still... It's it not. <laughs> it's to, wow, we're just running right through them, y'all. What was we're your set? Right what was your, oh, you only had two. So, yeah, so Scrum the Pliable <laughs> is casting this spell, and they're like, I got this, I got this, I got this. And they, in like a bunch of these worms are like starting to crawl together and like look up at the wand and like follow it. And Scrum's like, I'm a wizard, baby. I got this. And then the worms, they just, they have little worm bodies, but they start growing giant gnashing horse heads out of their faces. <laughs> And they all just leap forward with the horse-headed worm bodies and just eat scrum <laughs> from the top all the way down, and then they burrow into the ground. And oh. there's just nothing left. There's just no scrum, no nothing, Man. just a wand. Who the thunk horse magic was that deadly? Uh, yeah. And so, yeah, scrum has been uh, eaten by horse worms. Oh, um, no. See, gotcha. you could have saved scrum from this death with a reroll. Help yeah, us, hey, help chat. us, chat, chat, chat me one Kenobi. You're our only hope. Yeah, I mean, I feel like uh, we need to get the wand back, but I don't want to go near the little horse worm things. They're creepy. Hi. Hi. Oh, oh hey. <laughs> you need some water? Hi. Oh. Hi. What, Hi. Who, what's, what's your name? Hi, um, I'm Stan. Stan? Oh, hi, Stan. Stan. Yeah. I, that's a very unique goblin name. I love it. Yeah. Oh! You guys, I totally forgot to read the description of my defining feature. I'm going to have to wind that back real quick. Uh, because oh, yes. their defining feature is that they never stop smiling. So. Hey! Uh, 
If you're hey! happy, you'll get a lot. Hey! <laughs> hey, I'm Stan. Hi. It's really nice to meet you, Stan. You're I'm, really I'm, I'm Juno. Yeah. Oh, hey. It's a it's pleasure. Juno. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, what we, are we doing? Well, right. we're trying to turn this these worms into horses, but they stole our wand and we can't get it back. Oh, no, the wand is still there. The wand is there. Yeah, yeah. they're just, but they're, they're undulating you know and what? twisting like worms do. And I, I, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get the wand back. I'm gonna turn these these uh, these suckers into horses because I I am good at transformation stuff. That's my clutch's whole bag. So. Watch oh, out, here I go. Wait, okay, you might want to stand yeah. back. That wand oh. has a bad track record. Oh my god. Oh, I'm gonna I, put yeah, uh huh. <laughs> it really does. They're going to like actually fart noodle. Do you mind lending me a noodle? Oh. <laughs> oh. You want a noodle? Yes, please. Um, all right. And then just no hiding, no anything. Just fart you a good noodle right there. Cool. And yep. Uh, what Juno's going to do is they're actually going to tie their scepter of peacemaking to the wand, like put them together, it's like to add the power of their, of their art, uh, their, you know, their own item to this wand, uh, their ancestral heirloom. So that gives me uh, an additional die. And then of course, you know, I also have my expertise. In transformation, so I'm rolling four dice here to make these worms into horses to pull our fancy transportation. Ha cha! Here we go. Uh, I don't remember if I had any pluses. Well, really I did not because game. you rolled double no ones. No snake eyes, yeah. Snake eyes. You guys, I have bad news. I'm you succeeded? Really, you didn't succeed, know, did you? I have really bad news. <laughs> like, legit bad news. Is this a guys? I rolled a one, two, die? twos, and a four. <laughs> so, yes, I fucking died. I told you guys. We are, we're going to be done <laughs> before the hour is out. It is insane <laughs> how fast we're dying over here. We're dying so fast. We're dying so we fast. saved all the bad rolls for this week. <laughs> For, oh the, my God. for the finale of the, of the, of the game. amount of hubris we had by fucking over our own roles. <laughs> yeah, no, I want everyone at home to know how much we talked about the potential of us finishing this, like, we're just like, a little bit. Really yeah, yeah. Early. Really but early. no, we thought we were going to go, it was going to not last that long because we were rolling so well that we were just going to succeed so right. quickly in this last <laughs> bit that, like, it would be no big deal. Yo, um, not exactly. We're in trouble because I don't know if you guys know this, but if all of us lose all our goblins before we've completed our tasks, we lose the game. I still got yeah. three. I'm cool. Oh, hey, <laughs> Andy's hey. over here. It's like, boys, games. No, thank you for the fifteen dollars. Yeah, thank Ooh, you, so thank much. you, boys, games. Thanks. Thank you very much. Yeah. One step so, closer. Oh, wait. To yeah. Save we're our hide. We're in trouble. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. So it's Randy. Randy, you have yeah. to. Yeah. So uh, what's mullet guy's name? Uh, Happy. <laughs> oh, go ahead. You have a plus one. On this oh, one. well, thanks. Thanks. I'm good. very happy. Uh, I oh, might oh. need it. Yeah. I, really uh, need, I would not. Yes. I, I would say that, yes, you will likely need it. So Happy <laughs> is terrified. Like the happy smiley face that you saw before is gone. And he, he looks over at uh, what was uh, the fart noodle's name? Stan. <laughs> That's right. He, look, <laughs> he looks over at Stan and goes, "Oh no, I guess that makes me the guy in charge for a moment. Uh, I, I, I'll try." And he 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 sort of saunters over, and he goes, "Translation." And he's gonna try to make a transportation like. For the for out of the writhing worm monsters. So let's see if this happens. I'm just making it a straight two because adding things to this right now aren't good. Did we do it? Did we, we finally did it. do it? We yeah. did it. No, but what? Uh, so I rolled a I rolled a four and a five with a plus one. That's a five and a six. So that's right. a success. And uh, 
okay. a, a, a good thing. Well, no, four is a good thing. Five is just a success, right? Yeah, five and six are two. That's two successes. We, yeah, we just, just needed the one, we needed so we're good. No, we have four. succeeded. So this is what happens. Uh, happy. Thought that that is what happened. Like that him trying to be cool and doing it would make uh, the horses stop. But instead, uh, like he trips and it causes a big like boom sound. Like he he does it, the magic of it like knocks him over and it hits like there's just a clap sound basically. And the, the worms sort of get at attention and they stop writhing around. And he's like, oh, you guys, I don't think I can change him. But if we put a, a, a rope or something here, maybe these guys can take us. And that sounds like a great idea. Yo, I'm Aphrodite. Oh. Steven Aphrodite at your service. Hey. <laughs> and walking in just behind Aphrodite is a, um, a ass first, but face and ass first is oh, a goblin <laughs> just kind of like sauntering in. It's like... Uh, hey. Pulling off a weird comic book pose as they walk uh, back in. <laughs> Wango the Pliable here. Wango. I think Aphrodite knows what's up. <laughs> oh! Yeah, and I do. <laughs> Wango's head is quite clearly on backwards. Uh. Oh. <laughs> okay, that explains it. Yeah. yeah. Wow, wowie, wow. All right. All right. So we'll stand. Let's I think we're ready to go. We've Let's got our fancy this. transportation. Okay, we gotta put on <laughs> our our dress, and we have to get stacked up on top of each other, and we are we have to we have to head to head to the the ball. But we're gonna do that after our break because <laughs> now is as good a time as any to take our break. <laughs> so right. we're gonna take our break. Uh, we are going to be back in about five or ten minutes. Um, so everybody make sure you get some water, uh, make sure to hydrate, use the restroom, stretch your legs. And of course, uh, just a reminder that we are currently looking to unlock a set of rerolls for the table. It, it might be the only way we survive. Yeah. So yeah. Um, <laughs> please, please help. Please help. It's okay if we don't. I mean, you know, a lose, a losing scenario just means that we get to spend however much time we have left hanging out with all of you. I mean, life finds a way, unless you're a goblin. Yeah, unless you're a goblin. <laughs> we'll, we'll figure it out. Um, we might end really early tonight. <laughs> Who knows? Oh, we we'll figure it out. But yes, uh, we'll see. I'm you going to that now. ball. That is what I'm the most excited about. We got to get gonna burn it to the ground. It's gonna be classy. Gonna be classy. Gonna, gonna be do classy. a dance. Go learn to do classy. the dance. Yes, we do. All right. So yes, see y'all. All right, we'll see be back. <laughs> we'll be back.
And we are back. Thank you so much for hanging out and chat while we took a quick break. Um, we are, things are going well. Things are, things are going well. Uh, I believe that three of us are on our final goblin. Or wait, two of uh, us at least are on our final goblin. One of us is yeah. on their second to last goblin. And one of us, I think, still has three goblins left. I am, yeah, I am my third goblin. Yeah. Randy's um, freaking Scrooge McGoblins over here. He's just, I'm just, you know, hoarding them and diving like, into disgusting wet no, piles of goblins. No. It takes it takes one roll for them to die, tragically. <laughs> also, Max told me, uh, and he was correct. I forgot to describe Juno's death. Oh, um, so I believe that the way Juno died was basically the same thing as. Um, Eek! but in reverse. So first they turn inside out and then they get thick and then thin and then tall and then short and then they <laughs> die. So yeah, that that's nice and horrific and gross for you. Yeah. Um, I just, do you all remember that old cartoon inside out boy <laughs> about the kid who went, it, the plot was uh, the kid went all the way around on the swing set, and yeah. that was so yes. insane that it turned him inside out, and he had like eyeballs on the outside. It was like amazing yes. kids show. I'm imagining Inside Out Boy then just being like put on like the rack. <laughs> so gross. So, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I could I could help uh, facilitate that disgusting <laughs> that memory. Image. I'm not, because now I have to live with it. <laughs> I'm just Look, kidding. If, if, if I have to live with it, you all have to live with it. This, this is Fair thing. enough. There, there are things that live inside Max's brain that should maybe stay inside Max's brain. I don't know. All right. Okay. Uh, so, so where we, we left off is was, we, we now have our fancy transportation. We've hitched and our, our worm horses to our pumpkin. Mm. So now we have to get to the ball. Um, Randy, could you please describe the entire apparatus to me? Because I would like a picture of what it is that our fancy transportation really. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Fancy. So, so uh, have you ever seen like Disney Cinderella? Like, it, and it's all like blue and sort of like really beautiful. It's not that. It's this like really ugly, like kind of oozing like because we scooped out all of the insides of this pumpkin and it's just big it's literally like gooey on the inside with like little pieces hanging out um we did have we the wherewithal a window. yeah we cut ourselves a little window uh, <laughs> come on guys. um be reasonable we we have wheels but really they're just like slightly more tough dense pumpkins that are very round that we've hooked up to the bottom of it um and then for, we have like rope. It's not even like a, a proper harness. It's just it's like a rope. It's fart noodles. Ew, but oh yes. yeah, it's definitely yeah, it's fart definitely noodles. Yeah, it's definitely fart noodles, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, my legacy, my legacy. <laughs> and uh, that's what's tying these uh, horse worms together. And then to get them to go, you clap. And then twice and they move forward or one time to stop. Um, it takes are, a while. What are horses made out of again? <laughs> They're worms with horse heads yeah. Yeah. and no feet, and they're kind of like very scary because if you get too close, they try to nibble on you. And when, you, yeah, and I've seen what they can do with those chompers. It's, not it's nice. so fancy. Yeah, fanciest uh, transportation I've ever used. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I feel like a million bucks. Well, I'm I'm just really excited for the outfit and to be the arms. Are yeah. we almost there? Are we almost um, there? Do you think yeah, we're almost there? I, I, I think we are almost, almost there. All right. So while we're on the way, one thing, how do we make our entrance? Oh. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, I want to be uh, so classy. <laughs> That's just my goal. Yeah. Well, we have to have a classy entrance then, obviously. I don't really know what classy means, though, to be honest. Do you? Ah! Uh, 
I mean, we learned how to dance, and we're come showing up in this really nice pumpkin. Like we this, did it, this. you guys. We did it. Oh, so think... like have the nicest things. Yeah, yeah. I think yes. So. All right. Because oh, here, he, here's what nice I. Things. Yeah. If we can do a really good entrance, then maybe whoever's throwing the big party will like us. Right? Like, oh, yeah. that's what that's what I imagine. I don't know. Maybe if they I like if they like us, then maybe maybe what? maybe goblins will will be treated nicely for a change. <laughs> what? Nah. You gotta you gotta pick the right person though. You know, nah. like right because some some of some people here they're more impressive than others. Oh, oh, oh. I don't like that. Oh. I got it. Okay. Yeah. So if we're going to impress the person who's hosting the whole thing, it's the most likely that a person who's hosting it is the most impressive person there. Ooh. So ah. if we find the most impressive person, they're going to be the host and we got to make them impressed with us. I think you may be the smartest goblin that ever goblin. Okay, well, we have to figure out. I gotta make you the second smartest for knowing that I'm the smartest. <laughs> we gotta make. I, I'm, like... I'm almost positive that the person in charge will definitely be like the ugliest person there. Oh, yeah. Oh, you think so? Yeah, because yeah. if you've got all that society stuff, then maybe you don't care about your appearance as much. That's gotta be how it works. Oh. Well, okay, then. It, we, Trust the me, I have a mullet. If, you, <laughs> if we find the most impressively ugly person, they're running the show. Also, the smi you should be smiling, don't you think? Don't you think they're happy? Absolutely. Not, not, not happy, but happy. Oh, it's okay. It happens all the time. <laughs> Wait. Happy, are you hosting this party? No, no, no. No, I'm here with you. Because you are impressively ugly. Oh, Thanks. Oh, the thing you feel really nice. Absolutely. But you're not hosting. Are you no, hosting the party? I, I will. <laughs> okay. But thanks oh. for saying I'm ugly. Anytime. Do y'all hear that? <gasps> In the distance, you can hear like a clearing of bells, horns, as if welcoming you to a place. Ding dong. Like, like those scenes in Disney where like like the opening shots are it's just like bells in the <laughs> oh, 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 we're here. Oh, oh, I bet. Oh, I so, bet I can. Huh? Let's all scramble, I guess, into the dress. Is that the sense? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, we gotta put our dress on. Okay. You still want a uh, clutch fart noodle to be the face? Yeah. Oh, for sure. With a smile like that, how can we go wrong? Yeah. Oh, great. Hey. So you're still gonna be our legs, right? Yeah. Yeah. Wango the pliable legs for days, baby. Yeah. yeah. And I'm the I'm I'm not the arms, I'm the person in the very, very middle. I'm the tummy. Yeah. This means I get to eat all the food. Ooh, wait, is that how it works? Well yeah, all the food goes in the tummy, doesn't it? Yeah, but I mean like there's that's four true, of that's us. That's true, that's true. Oh uh, don't true, worry, don't worry. I'm I'm the tummy and I will make sure to eat all the all the food for us. I heard that somewhere. That seems right. Okay. Um Okay, so okay, so we have to find out who's in charge. I have I have an idea. So oh, Okay, okay. Um, um Let's see. I believe in you, fart noodle. <laughs> so, uh, uh, <laughs> famous last words. St uh, yep. Um, <laughs> Stan has totally got this. Stan, uh, would like to use the, uh, eavesdropping expertise that Clutch Fart Noodle. It finally happened. I can finally use it. Um, uh, um, uh, to sidle up, uh, next to uh, the crowd of the fanciest looking folk to see if uh, you know they can overhear the name of the of the host or overhear something about them. Um, so 
that will be, I'm gonna roll three, I think, because I don't think anything else really applies here. Well, I don't know. Do you think the fact that, that they never stop smiling is a, would be a bonus as well? I feel like it would I be. I think you could like absolutely it use it to ingratiate yourself into the- Why thing. not? Why not? Four go die. Big. There were four dice, rather. Let's, let's Nothing see how- Nothing can go wrong. Oh, I have a plus one, though, I think, from last time, don't I? Yeah. Okay, so we'll see. No, you don't. No, you don't. I, I think... <laughs> oh, right. You just got you got two yeah. successes, right? So no pl- no bonuses, Amanda. Oh, goodness. What's that face? <laughs> For two successes? Like, there's no... Wait, there... No you bonuses? don't get any pluses. It's only no. four. So I had... I rolled a four, but it got upgraded to a five. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. I was like, very... That makes more sense. Well... Oh, boy. <laughs> I don't honestly know that it could have gone any worse. Um, <laughs> oh, no. I really don't. It's, oh, it's oh. two ones oh. and two mm-hmm. threes. So basically oh. <laughs> two, two wounds oh, and two bad things. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't think the bad things stack though, so it's just the negative right. one. They don't. But this However, is but this, is, this, this is on par with how the story is going. It, it, I'm about uh-huh. to just donate like seventy five dollars directly to this game. You know what? <laughs> Same though. Be like, uh, maybe we're just gonna buy our own free rolls for ourselves. <laughs> we cannot die. <laughs> I oh, just no. made it to the ball. It's the first time I've ever been. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. There are options for de- for death in this game Wait, when you well, have cycled through all of your gobo. I'm again. I'm trying to think of like a most uh, righteous. Uh, oh yeah, you take to, your time. We'll wait bam- bite it. all damn day for you. Is is Stan your last goblin, Amanda? Oh well, then yeah, let's. This is, we need to make sure it gets a properly epic death. Yeah. I respect. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> F's in chat for Stan. Holy F's shit. in stat for Stan. Please. I think... Oh, man. Y'all, so much pressure to, to commit... Uh, just to... To commit murder. <laughs> to commit the perfect, uh, most glorious death, goblin death of, of, of them all. Um... Well, that's the thing is, it, it's of course it happens when they're going over just to have a conversation. I feel as though I feel as though like, they're in, uh, incessant. Okay, smash no, no, no. Come into it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So, um, they uh, they help y'all walk over there, um, and basically look at. Uh, uh, a lady and just smile and go, hello, you seem like you're particularly ugly. Are you the host of this party? <laughs> like, I haven't seen anybody here uglier than you, so I figured that it might. And naturally, she gets very upset by this. Um, <laughs> and, can, I, can I add yeah. just a little touch of flavor here? Sure. So my impression of goblins and their, what they consider to be ugly is actually like the most beautiful a human could be would be like horrendously ugly to, to a goblin. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. Um, and the woman turns and just like slaps like, uh, across the face, which wouldn't be that big of a deal, except they're all standing, Really, they're all on the like third floor. I'm gonna say of mm-hmm. this, you know, you have to go all the way up. Anyway, the nice looking look view over a cliff, and guess what? Only they, uh, the top, take a big giant tumble right off that cliff from being slapped. They get slapped right off, right off there, and um, you wait, you wait like a couple of seconds, and then you hear a, oh. And then, then there's a couple of more seconds, and then you hear a, oh! Uh, and then you get, like, one last, like, second, and then all you hear is a splat. <laughs> and then you hear nothing. Uh, 
Um, and that, is so okay up there? Slapped the so hard we were decapitated. Uh. But uh, so so I guess that's that's the death. It's also a bad thing because now y'all have been decapitated. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna, I think that's sufficient. I feel like yeah. that's sufficient. Yeah. Uh, and you're now walking about headless. Oh dear. Uh, so 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 rip that. I'm glad I don't have to smile that hard anymore though. That was that was difficult. <laughs> it should but work out. <laughs> now I shall sit here until the next round. All right. So as the body is sort of like wandering, like moving and leaning side to side from from the sheer power of this woman's ultimate smack, uh, uh, what's what's their name? Happy is like, oh my god, we gotta get to the bathroom. We gotta get to the bathroom. <laughs> and it's yeah. like, like pushing people, like Ringo, let's strong go. army people out of the way. <laughs> as they're okay, keep going, keep going. Uh, I'm gonna roll for. Uh, how quickly we can coordinate this together uh, as I'm pushing people. <laughs> what? What? Why do we keep rolling oh dice? <laughs> Why do we keep rolling dice? <laughs> oh, this is great. So a one, but it's a negative one because didn't didn't we have a yeah, like we minus one? Yeah. So that's a that's zero. Oh, so no, happy's yeah. about to get gone. And then it's a two. Oh, so no more negative modifiers. I sucked God. that one up. But, uh, but uh, so, so as uh, Happy is like oh, trying to like push people out of the way, uh, someone like he, he uh, tries to look around for a moment to see which direction is best to go. And then someone's like, it's a goblin. And then the, all the party goers are like starting to like, flail around and like lose it and he's like ah! and then like uh, someone grabs him by the by the mullet and is holding him up and is like uh as the body sort of runs off so it's just two people with like a half dress <laughs> running away. uh and they take him and they go you're going to uh going to jail for a long long and then right before they can say that the uh the, the one of the guards just chucks him off the, the balcony. Not as cool, just falls and, and hits the ground. But got rid of another goblin. Oh my god. So oh, obviously, what do we do? Yeah, yeah Wango has, is like hauling ass <laughs> left and right, being like, I don't know where I'm going. We need help. You know, they're looking backwards while their feet are moving forward. So, oh, yeah. so it's just the worst chaos. One to be the They've got no idea where they're going. They're just <laughs> bumping into people all over the place. They're running between no. legs. They're destroying the buffet. Uh, it's just chaos. Uh, oh, this could and, not be going worse for us, John. <laughs> mm. uh, but Wango does come up with the idea uh from hearing the the early last words of um, of poor Curly, which was get to happy. the bathroom. Happy. Oh yes, yes. <laughs> oh happy, right? No, Curly died. Ooh, <laughs> brutal. So did Happy. Oh man, <laughs> they just keep dying. <laughs> <laughs> but it was like it happens oh, so fast. You don't even know. You don't even know. I think there's a good before. Uh, there's a good question in chat that why were people not flailing around after seeing people. Uh, like the the woman lose her head so get decapitated yeah um that's a valid question and <laughs> i uh I, w I will not deign to answer it uh. i mean once they once they figured out it was a bunch of goblins inside the dress i, I think that would be you know a completely different thing to freak out over <laughs> Do, uh, well, Aki, do you feel like this is a real, like, somebody saw a mouse kind of scenario? Like, now right, we're at yeah. the end of the witches? Oh, for sure. And and okay. I think that there is some unrest happening as we run through. Uh, but my idea is to is to kind of try and disguise this a little bit. Is, like, they, <laughs> they poke their head out of the top of the dress, and they're just like, everything is fine there is nothing to worry about and i'm yeah. going to i'm going i'm going to roll before you do <laughs> no i just like this body slowly getting <laughs> chopped from the top anyway so i'm so happy with you going next so i'm gonna roll basically like i've got my scepter of peacemaking doing the thing while i'm trying like you know to to disguise myself i'm gonna roll 
I'm gonna, and you know, I'm using my scepter of peacemaking also to help kind of smooth things over. This is like, you know, a really, really, like this is basically me trying to bard my way out of this shit. So here we go. Oh, geez, that's not where you go. Uh, hacha. <laughs> okay, cool. Oh, okay. Um, I got a six, right. so I finally succeeded in something. Yo. Uh, <laughs> and I got a three and a four, which means the next person has a bonus. Okay. But I also got a one, so I do take one injury. I am halfway towards being all the way through. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. It's, Anybody it's else? Uh... I'm a little bit. It's a little bit. It's a little bit warm in here. Yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind some rerolls. Not that it's going to save me at this point. I don't think. But you know, <laughs> might save. It might save y'all. It might save y'all. But we have one success towards figuring out who is in charge. I here. want Wango to make it because that's just an epic name. <laughs> so semen, semen Aphrodite manages to successfully, uh, you know, uh, divert some people's attention, make people a little less freaked out about the headless. A uh, short person that's now running around. Um, yeah. Everything seems to have calmed down, and we have successfully made it to the bathroom. <laughs> what did you say to them? <laughs> to um, there's nothing yeah, to see works. here. Everything is fine. I'm just, I'm just having a really bad day, and I, I think I need to retire to the bathroom. And, and Wait, to, to help you with so, your crying, one uh, like another goblin from around the corner throws a rock at you. <laughs> <laughs> I think you have. Wait until the next oh, round. Oh, you're, right you're, right. you're right. you're right. You're right. You're right. I just wanted to throw my rock at people. <laughs> okay. Don't we all? Uh, but yeah, I, I think the hobgoblins are all sort of like, oh, yes, that poor short person in the dress would absolutely be allowed to go to the bathroom. Please clear, clear away, clear, clear the pass, clear the pass. <laughs> Freaking hobgoblins. So many of them. Huh. All right. You got any good ideas, Wango? Oh, yeah, I got a great idea. Here's what we're going to do. We are going to take a hostage. Take a hostage? <laughs> and Wango, oh. like, runs out from under the dress and jumps into one of the bathroom stalls with the, with the bean can of finger cutting. <laughs> and is somebody's in there just going to the bathroom and oh and they're like, You who's running this show? <laughs> uh, All right. I, I and so there. I'm gonna <laughs> use uh a few of Wango's abilities. Um <laughs> first of all the bean can of finger cutting, obviously. Wango uh, and semen Aphrodite. Here we go. <laughs> for the last last great hope of Cups and Kind. <laughs> Uh, and I'm going to use um, at the pliable as uh, as a sort of like that like Wango kind of does a leap, you know, up over the uh, up over the stall to get in there. So a skill check as well. So we're going to do four dice for Wango. Let's see how this goes. Yeah. I have a plus one on this, right? I'm not like you wildly do. okay. I just want to make sure I'm not like totally fucking this up. You have plus one. How do we do? Okay. Ooh. All right. All, all in all, generally good. Good. Uh, okay. Okay. So I have rolled a one, a two, a five, and a six. Okay. So, so my that one's makes gonna it... become a two. My two's uh -huh. gonna become a three. My five becomes a six. My six becomes a seven. So we got so, three successes. Yeah, which is boss AF. Yeah, we only need one trade. more to finish stage one of this um, challenge of this task. Need one but more success. Also, a bad thing happens, and also Wango's going to take a damage. <laughs> so, Wango. Wango jumps up and is like doing some like cool acrobatic moves, but obviously, um, since their head is on backwards, they're like jumping but don't really know where they're going, and so they get over the stall but go head first into the toilet between this person's legs. Oh. And it's a very astonished uh, and very kind of put together looking bugbear who is like, 
oh my stars and garters a disgusting <laughs> little green creature uh and they pull wango out by the feet and wango's there sopping wet you know covered in in water and, and fast backwards uh, backward. and is holding the can and is like hey <laughs> <laughs> Listen, listen up, listen up, who's running this show? <laughs> and the bugbear looks Wango in the eyes and is sort of like, oh my God, like a weapon, I'm under assault. And it's like, <laughs> the, oh, oh my, oh my word. Uh, the Duke and Duchess of Floof Garden and, and please, Please don't touch me with your disgusting can or your disgusting self and just whip Swango out and starts screaming. Uh, and so I think the bad thing that has happened is that the bugbear is screaming bloody murder. And so now everyone's aware of chaos in the bathroom. Uh, Wango has been uh, smashed around the bathroom quite a lot and it's covered in different types of matter. Um, but we now knew, know that the Duke and Duchess of, I've already forgotten their name. Blue Garden. Blue Garden. Blue Garden. That's right. Blue Garden. Also, yep. you've never Blue smelled Garden. better, Wango. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. <laughs> I feel refreshed. I think now a rock can come hurtling out of the middle of nowhere. So <laughs> now a rock <laughs> randomly comes hurtling out and it's just like, like, uh, no, because it doesn't make sense for the to use it now. You could so, hit you could hit the bugbear. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna hit the bugbear. Uh so I like uh banging on the door. Then it's in. Uh it's it's uh Ooh, it's frowny. And I just wanna show you what Frowny is wearing. A suit. Oh, very nice oh. suit, Frowny. Uh, frowny looking good over there. Frowny Frowny was born with uh goblin skin in the shape of a suit it's not an actual suit it is just the shape of a suit <laughs> that is amazing i so, love all right. it so, so much so uh bang on the door. <laughs> so gross worse than anything we've got about all day today <laughs> Dude, I, regular I'm chat is like four or five <laughs> <laughs> so he's naked. I mean, well, are all goblins? I don't know. Disgusting! You're a disgusting anyway, anyway. person. So comes in uh, and is like, "You guys, we gotta get out of here. We gotta do something. We uh, know who's in charge. Oh, who? The Duke and Duchess of Fluff and Garden. Oh, now we gotta find them. Oh, okay. Gotta find them. Well, That's really <laughs> you'll be able to help us, will ya? Uh, uh, as this person is still screaming, uh, let's just get out of here first. And then pulls Gosh, them. We could use some more help. Yeah, yeah. We, we we look around to see if anyone else is, is not losing it who can assist. Amanda. Okay. Oh, hey. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. So, do you want to explain, Max, what's about to happen? Yeah, let's introduce this mechanic. Aki, please. No, I you're the facilitator. You do it. You well, do hey, it. You're uh, game. In you Goblin do Quest, it. if the inevitable happens and all your goblins have died, but the game has not ended, you now can take on the role of an NPC. Uh, NPCs can be anybody. They can change during the game. They can do whatever. You can be the ghost of a goblin. You could be a hobgoblin, an orc, a bugbear, a wizard, whatever you want. You could be a horse. Um, and NPCs roll two dice. Uh, they have a speciality. They roll a third die if they uh, get no, to one use... one and two. Oh, sorry. One and two. NPCs roll one die. They get to use a second die if they roll their speciality. They cannot die. They can be knocked out of the round if they take damage. They have two hit points. But that's the basic long and short of it. Basically, we don't want you to go away. We like it when you play. So, you know, come be something new and different and fun. And let's cause some mess. So That's the idea. All right. So, uh, I'm going to, yeah, all right. <laughs> you, uh, 
wait, what are we doing? I, so I literally was, I'm sorry, I did we're not know we were going around. And I'm just yeah, like, we're looking around for someone <laughs> who can assist us to not. We are trying to figure out, we know that the Duke and Duchess of Floof Garden are hosting this party, but we don't know who the Duke and Duchess of Floof Garden Right, okay. So uh, a very tall and very thin uh, hobgoblin with those little like tiny spectacles that just like, you know, they're like tiny right here is just like there and and uh you know very severe and just kind of what are you doing uh, we are looking for the duke and duchess of floof garden oh well they're awful why would you want to do that we are we are hoping to become upstanding members of society we're not doing a good job if you oh. could please point us to the floofs. To the floofs? To the floofs. Oh, oh, you mean the Duke and Duchess? Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh, um. How drunk is she? <laughs> you know, I've, I've been here for a very long time. <laughs> okay. part of your Wait, were you talking about me? Me? Yeah. Or the, oh, no. No, 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 no. I, not you, you. <laughs> how drunk is she? She's like, <laughs> right. that accent drunk. is all over the place. I don't know. <laughs> no, it's great. No. I wasn't even trying to have Oh, yeah. A Amanda, Amanda totally showed up tonight. Very yeah. sloshed. <laughs> yeah. just, I, just. I, I, meant, I meant to like be actually like conversing <laughs> with goblins, but you know. <laughs> well, I mean, they're a ghost, so they don't uh, have anything else to do. Oh, you're a ghost. Yeah. Are you a, well, you goblin goblin a ghost? You, you do not have to be a ghost. You can be anything. Oh, I don't have to be a ghost. Only no. I thought you're... that was the point is that you're a ghost. Only no, if you're, you're playing one of your old goblins. You can bring your one of your old goblins back as a ghost. Oh. Uh... Yes. Well, yeah, no. The ghost of a hobgoblin. You no, know. no, she's a hundred percent just like a ghost that haunts the manor. <laughs> yeah, That's <laughs> fucking great. Big oh, <laughs> I, <laughs> I've been here for such a long time. You know, I know everything about this place, including where the Duke and Duchess are at this very moment. <gasps> I think. Uh, at least the last time I checked. Hold on, hold on. Let me just see if I can remember. Um, what are honestly, the special, right? <laughs> yeah, what are the specialties of cobweb buttons? Do we know? Uh, well, they're supposed to, I think they're like, they're clever. This says they're clever and, but and not in a fun way. They're bureaucrats kind of. and treasurers, powerfully boring creatures. Ah, uh -huh. I feel but they like they make this everything is, function. I feel like mm -hmm. this is definitely you rolling in your specialty. Like, you're helping us, like, get, you're remembering, like, kind of a function of the place that you live and, like, helping us. Like, sure, okay, I will, I will roll you two dice. Feels That's like orga funny. organizational business, yeah. That's true. Yeah, it's like, uh -oh. oh, no, come back. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, we have oh, a no. guy. It's oh, no. not a game where I like hearing oh, no, oh, no a bunch. No, no, no. The dice has know where it went. Consumed. My curtains ate my dice. Okay. Oh, no. um, was I it had that happen for that die? It was. <laughs> oh, I feel like we should get a donation for that pun. Just saying. <laughs> mm. Just saying. So, is there a carryover of some kind? Uh, from. Yes. You have a minus one. <laughs> oh no, that was not what I wanted to hear. <laughs> oh no. Um. Oh, so here's what happens: is uh, <laughs> she goes yes. Oh. You know, I, I know where they are. I will absolutely take you. Just follow me, right? And then, like, gets to what is clearly, uh, like, a differencing point. Or, uh, uh, what do you call it? Like a... Oh, I just ruined it by losing my word. Where you can't go past it, like a boundary. There you go. I knew it was a B word. Uh, a boundary. So just, like, mid-sentence crosses it and just goes, flip, out of existence. <laughs> <laughs> Has reached the end of their, like, ghost tether. Oh, and it's no. just gone. Ah. Oh, wow. we, we were so close. We were so close. We have to find somebody else who can help us. All right. uh, Obviously we can't trust ghosts. Well, we have to look for the person who's like got 
floof dwarf implies fluffiness. Mm -hmm. Maybe if we find the fluffiest people. A big, impressive, ugly fluff. Yeah. Yes. That seems like plenty of clues. I'm going to use my semen skills to uh, navigate us towards the floof gardens. Yes. All right. I'm rolling three die. I'm guessing I have no bonuses, and that was just straight up death. Amanda, oh yeah, Amanda, did we get any bonus rolls from you? Can't hear you. Back. Me? Yeah, yeah when you last roll. Yeah. Please. Did was you roll? Oh, it was three or four. No, it turned into a zero two. Oh jeez. Oh, oh wow, you got okay. super yeah, murdered. That was super, super dead. <laughs> cool. All right, That's this might so this. <laughs> This might be the end of Aphrodite. We'll see what happens here. Ha-cha. Wait, Randy, are you still on three? Uh, no, I'm on my last two. Like, I'm so, on the second. So, I did What's get us mean? our final success on this on this stage. Yay. Yay! But this is the end of Aphrodite. Oh, and damn. I rolled I rolled a three, so the next roll has Minus one. So great. So great. <laughs> you love to see it. So um as as Aphrodite is scouting the crowd in search of the floof dwarfs, uh the floof gardens, um they manage to finally kind of fix their eyes on what looks like a really ostentatious couple, just covered. It's a it's a couple of bugbears covered in feathers just absolutely fucking drowning in like ostrich feathers peacock feathers just feathers everywhere and as you all get close to it um aphrodite accidentally inhales one of the feathers and chokes on it (laughs) they're coughing out words of it's so nice to meet you i really enjoyed the butt (laughs) just cough and just yeah and the bad thing that happens is that they do manage to sort of up chuck this feather back from their throat as they expire but they do it right on the duchess's dress and that's the bad thing that happens and they expire from between the two of you (laughs) because one of you is beneath them and one of you is on top of them (laughs) <laughs> and you just see the tummy of our of our dress just go <laughs> yeah. in the middle. Oh no! <laughs> and so go with semen Aphrodite. Aphrodite. Are, we are we are very short. Uh, Wait, party Randy, boarder. what's the name of your fourth goblin again? I'm uh, sorry. It's, uh, I I don't think I said the name. His name is Frowny, but he's oh, wearing a suit. Did. You did. Oh, you so. did. I just missed it. I think. Yeah. Uh rip but okay oh, so wow. seeing the throne you threw up on uh on, on the duchess but we know who the duchess is which is great um oh yes yeah. so we've succeeded in figuring out who's in charge thank god yeah um so our next task towards getting into society is showing off our manners stop with kind of excellent manners. You're excellent. Instantly, excellent my apologies. Brownie of course. Uh, is, sticks their head uh, uh, up and, and sort of is like, we got to get that vomit off. That's the only way. Oh, <laughs> Excuse yeah, me. That's a good idea. This, I apologize for my mistake. And he's trying to like dab like a, a, a piece of their dress like as a like napkin <laughs> on this person, right? And so, I want to. I'm gonna roll, but I don't think it'll be good. So you said it's a minus one. The minus one, yeah. Thanks. Rip. <laughs> so I got a four, and Yay. well, I mean, like I rolled a five, got a four, uh, and then a, a zero. <laughs> Not great. Not so great. So. Oh boy. As as Frowny is like sitting there trying to get this off the Duchess, the Duchess screams bloody murder. She's like, "Oh my goodness, what is this great creature?" And she is like, like just like, <laughs> like like smacking him on the head like over and over again until he just <laughs> and then like 
his eyes sort of like bulge out and then he like mm. <laughs> and just like kind of passes out and dies like like oh, kind of just no. <laughs> <laughs> who went who has alone a super, for now? Who has a super skin? <laughs> but you get a plus one. I do. Uh, are we in the next round yet, or are we still in the same one? No, we have one more. We have one more, and that no. is that is Max, Max I believe. Yeah. Is is Wango? Uh, yeah. And All so by his, their lonesome. Wango. Wango is like done with the pretense, right? Like the right. dress means nothing at this yeah. point it's just it's a it's a two foot tall like it's like ankles and then floop you know so <laughs> it, there's not a lot going on so wango like discards the dress Ooh. and is like hello <laughs> <laughs> and kind of does like a, a a little bit of like flourish and and i and there's a, a little bit of um one of the things that Wango is a hundred percent sure of is that all presentations to royalty require preposterous amounts of bowing and curtsying and 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 bending over backwards. So like, uh, so Wango is like hello and like kind of like does like a move and then like does like a down thing and like does a split and like a whole presentation <laughs> and then Those goes and, and like paying off and and lick and like <laughs> kisses the feet of the duke and duchess um oh. and in this i'm going to i'm just going to go whole hog on this role because um first of all obviously wango the pliable uh very bendy who bends before he breaks but also would like to taste greatness Ooh. is very I, into the idea of 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 smooching some nasty ass royal feet <laughs> um so wango's rolling five dice baby um <laughs> Let's see how this goes for our dear. We're just dear all gonna go out in a blaze of not glory. Look, oh. We got 15 minutes. It's all in <laughs> these combos. Well, more than that, but I don't think we're gonna last that long. <laughs> all right, some stuff is happening to Wango <laughs> and yep. the Gango. You do have uh, a every plus time one. you say Wango. I just want to. I, I want to finish it with Fet. Wango. All of that is plus one. <laughs> That's true. It is plus all plus one, one which makes it. Uh, notably better. Um, thank you. Because it was, yeah. So, uh, Wango is still going to take a damage. I had rolled a one. Uh, we're going to turn that into a two. I also had rolled three threes. So those are going to be fours. So bonus to okay, that. Lots of good good things are happening. Cool. And a five, which is now a six. So we have Yay. one more success and a good thing happens. Although Wango will tragically die in the process. Is that the first success? Uh, That's the first, first success, success of stage two. It is. Yeah. Yeah. That okay. is correct. Let me, uh, mark <laughs> and possibly the last. <laughs> Who knows? Is that I, how I have one no. more character, you guys. By myself. Uh, as do <laughs> so I. No, that. no. I have, yeah. I have one. Oh, right. Uh, so Wango's like, ooh, and he's bending, and he's doing all this stuff, and he's kissing feet, and it's a whole thing. And honestly, the Duke and Duchess are sort of like, who's this sexy goblin who's shown up? <laughs> but And so they're like into it. They're like vibing, and they're like, young friend, you are the most impressive goblin to come out of the... And then Wango just inhales a whole foot and chokes on it and just dies choking on the duke's big honking foot so much choking oh no <laughs> and so now but the duke is kind of like you know what no great loss goblin shoes i dig it oh no <laughs> and so he's keeping wango as a shoe like excellent, All right. excellent idea we have darling excellent, excellent this we've completed this uh uh round, round. of turns yes so uh who's gonna spawn first uh <laughs> So uh, well, yeah, we should spawn, I guess, and then we yeah. can decide. But uh, also, NPCs should spawn, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm uh, gonna wait so, for the situation to establish itself. Yeah. I think. Correct. Me too. The living goblins may go first. All right. So, out of uh, the hallway steps Baldy, this beautiful who is clearly goblin. not bald. Yep. Yeah. The rest of them are like frowny and happy, and they are what they are. 
but Baldy is flowing long locks of hair, uh, kind of in a Ariana Grande ponytail. It's it's beautiful <laughs> uh, for a dog. Uh, and steps out and is like, oh, where where did the others go? Uh. <laughs> and looks around for a friend. And who is frozen in time. Diving down from the ceiling comes this kind of like action-packed goblin who has huge eyeballs in their stomach uh, right around the top of their chest. Not in their stomach, I guess, in their chest. And huge nipples, nipples? where their eyeballs should be. I was going to say, are you saying they have nipple eyeballs? Because that yeah. seemed to be what was happening. Okay, yep, yep, you got so there we got first. a nipple eyeball switch, the classic. The classic. The switcheroo. <laughs> Just blink it. Oh. Uh, and this is oomph. Oomph the pliable. Oomph. Oomph. <laughs> oh. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> oh, you... Okay. That's very upsetting, Max. Thanks so much. <laughs> You. Like any, yeah. <laughs> I thought oh. a suit for skin was bad, but nipples always for count eyes on you. is so much Just worse. Can always count on you. No. 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 You're a bad man. You're a very bad man. Absolutely. Running out of ideas. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. <laughs> There anyway, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> whatever, Max. Keep going, right. I guess. All right, we've got a mission that we must complete. I will be a part of society. I want to help. 100%. I want to help. <gasps> Hi. Did someone say a mission? Oh. Long time no see, and you see before you the ghost of Luna. Ooh. Oh. I I don't know you, but one of my my siblings knows you. I think I'm a Lu I'm Seaman Luna mm -hmm. in the name of uh, I don't know. I will punish you. Oh ah! I have that memory. Nice and, to see you again. <laughs> and you also you uh about like a ten year old girl maybe nine ten year old like human girl <laughs> <laughs> kind of comes up with a um with what looks like a wand and it's like I like I like adventure. Oh my god. Listen up, kid. What if you what like kind adventure of then you're in the right place. I wanna go on a mission too. I really want to go on a mission. Can I come on a mission? Please, I have a magic wand. Please tell me that this this little wizard girl also has very, very giant curly like brown hair. <laughs> very um, big curly brown hair. <laughs> Kind of book smart. No, I'm blonde. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. What? Your eyes not work. My hair is blonde. I see, I see, I see. I see. Sorry, I'm colorblind. I also don't know colors very well. I thought that's oh. what it was. So I've got nipples for eyes, so right. it's a problem for me. But the uh, eyes are here. You can't. Do those not work? Hey, lady. My eyes are down here. Who's the lady? <laughs> oh, me? Yeah. Anyways, we're Joke, being just very go. rude. We're being We're, very rude to our hosts. Uh, yeah. How we can how can we serve you? Oh great hosts. Can we dance for you? We're very good at dancing. <gasps> What's the mission? The mission is to ingratiate ourselves to the Duke and the Duchess and show off our excellent manners. Oomph. Let's hit the dance floor. That sounds wicked boring. Oh, do you know how to make it more exciting? Oh, these two are going to do a performance. Do you think you could do some fun magic to uh, enhance it? Uh, I know a good kid. I don't really know that that has anything to do with manners. Uh, maybe we ask them to dance with us. <gasps> oh, oh, Proper oh! Etiquette. I know, I know how this goes. You, you, um, you, you like go like this. And um, she does a very stiff-legged, like, shuffle bow, kind of. Just like, and like, like that, um, that like shows respect. Um, I have lots of ideas. I just can't think of them right now. Okay. Oh, let's start with the bow and then ask them if they want to dance. Perfect. 
oh, into that's, it. That's a good idea. Um, oh, 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 my dad taught me. Um, I can, I can try. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, I'm just gonna roll the one because she is a child and probably not very good at whatever it is. Valid. Uh, you get a plus one. Plus one? Oh, hey, well, it's y'all's lucky day because uh, that's a five. Nice. Um, so she um, <clears throat> she's really just kind of messing around. Like she's a she's a well-bred little girl. She knows exactly what to do. She just usually doesn't want to. So you just see her kind of like gangly all up into the Duchess and then just stop and just give just this very perfect curtsy. And then like comes back up and like walks back and then like shakes that off and is like, ah, okay. Um, they, I, that helped a little, right? Like that was like a mission success, right? Right? Did I help? Did I help? Did I help? Did I help? All right. Uh, Yay! That's curtsy. All right. Luna picks up the, the, um, the fabric from the dress off the floor and kind of whirls it around them, their ghostly form, which somehow manages to be, you know, it just goes right through them. They try to pick it up and whirl it around. Their hands just go through it. Okay, that's not going to work. Um, transformation, transformation, transformation. No, that doesn't work either. Would you like to dance with us, Duke and Duchess? So I'm going to roll to see if uh, my thing works. I don't know. I don't think I get any extra dice. What was Luna's, um, yeah, well, I don't even know. What was, or... the, yeah, what was Luna's expertise? I mean, I oh, guess our was expertise was in transformation. They tried to transform, but so. like, oh, but they couldn't. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, so I don't one, know if they can. Down. I mean, they're a ghost. They don't have any of their, their whole powers anymore. I don't think. I watched anyway. Beetlejuice and they sure did know how to transform as ghosts. I was going to say, if we're doing Beetlejuice rules, you can do a lot. <laughs> sure. I, I, I'll, I'll be doing Beetlejuice you know rules. I'll roll Sandworm. two and Sandworm. we're going right. to see what happens. I don't have any bonuses, correct? Okay. It's just just flat roll. Right. I think so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to take one damage and I'm going to roll a three. So minus one to the next roll. And um, uh, something bad happens. All right. They Good. attempt to speak, but their ghostly form does not produce any sounds. And so it looks instead like they are screaming silently at the Duke and Duchess, who do not take it well, and kind of give like some grumpy harumphs uh, in the direction of Luna, who's right. trying so hard, but Aww. is not doing well. But you came back to help your friends, and that's what I counts. Did y'all can hear me? That's all that matters. All right. Oh no, I don't think they can hear me. Um, uh, one, one of you might have to try. All right. You're much more I want to do whatever I do. Max, are you going to try to dance with them? Because I want to do something to improve your dancing. And by improve, I mean blow something up to make uh, in the background. I will happily uh, tr attempt to dance. Would you like to? I, I can start the dance first if you want to blow something up, if that's how you yeah. would like it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, um, so oomph the pliable, like cartwheels his way up to the Duke and Duchess and holds his hand out and he's like, Duchess, baby, you want to cut a rug? <laughs> uh, and um, just the image is hor horrific to me. Just and, so and they head down to the dance floor and, and you know, Oomph can kind of move. You know, it's not so bad, actually. He learned some of those sweet orc dance moves over at the bar uh, or somehow because he wasn't there but he knows them uh and <laughs> uh, and the duchess is like getting down and the duke is possibly a little jealous and is like i'm cutting in like oomph and the duke are dancing um so uh he's gonna use um i believe everybody. his pliability and we'll roll three dice yes. everybody wants to dance with oomph. when you got There's nipples for eyes who wouldn't yeah i mean for real so the, the, the Twitch terms of service wouldn't like it. That's true. <laughs> uh, Oomph cannot show their face on on camera on Twitch. Ooh, wow. 
Oh. Don't forget that you had a minus one, by the way. No, I. How could I forget <laughs> that? Uh, folks, we're really dealing with a classic one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> so, actually, it's not so bad because Umf would have died anyway. Um, but now we don't get a bad thing that happens. Oh, so, that's great. Thanks. Umf's like out Wait. there, like. Which was it a zero, one, two? Yeah. Is, yeah. Um, is so ultimately dead uh, and this is my last goblin he's like out there dancing with the duke and the duchess and he's like getting down and the duke and the duchess are like feeling it and they're like oh yeah this is amazing and oomph is feeling it and they're all dancing and then the duke and the duchess like lock eyes and they're like way into each other they're like baby I haven't felt a fire like this since we were like 18 hot as hell looked amazing Hormones were raging like crazy, and they just like grind up on each other. But guess who's stuck inside the middle of that sandwich? Poor little oh, Oomph Pliable. No. And he's bending <laughs> as much as he can. You know, there's bellies and thighs, hips and pelvises. There's all sorts of stuff rubbing together on that dance floor. And he's like, it's like a weird, like he's, you know, look, he's not a fart noodle, but he's noodling as much as he can. And then <laughs> he breaks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> First of all, I am just crack, 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 crack. I am so mad at what Colin just put in chat that I want to cry. Oh, please tell me it's oh, I, art. I, I... <laughs> yes, please tell me. He says, this is about to be an umfatois. Bad Colin. I'm so upset. Um, <laughs> it, it once was an umfatois. Don't tell anyone we're married. <laughs> that was an umfadu. Um, but, uh, <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, now and and the Duke and the Duchess like they finish their dance and out slides this kind of baloney looking green <laughs> no! on the breeze. Thing. <laughs> yeah, just very <laughs> very like uh yeah, old tiny died. cartoon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so all right. So oh, that uh, means that Baldy is alone. Baldy yeah. is alone. But what Baldy has been doing during that entire big show uh, was setting uh, some kind of like powder or, or flammable liquid, maybe alcohol of some kind, uh, like setting up the biggest pyrotechnics for the like fi the finale where you know they're expecting that uh, oomph would give some grand flourish and then everything would just go and it would be beautiful. And the Dutch and Duchess and uh, the Duke would, would love it. So they're sitting back there and they're, they're looking out and they can't see where Oomph is. And they're like, okay, I'm going to do it now and maybe it'll time up together. Uh, this could so, very well be the end of the game. Oh, so oh, a hundred percent. I'm ex <laughs> I, 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 I mean, why not? All right. Great. So, uh, pyrotechnics, uh, go out in a blaze of glory, maybe. Like they're trying to oh, end sure. this big thing. Oh, and certainly. then that's four dice. Let's, let's oh boy, y'all. So there are no bonuses on the table. Whatever you roll, but there are no, get. No, no negative modifiers either, right? No. No. Clean slate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Two ones. Two ones. <laughs> Uh, so great. A five, so a success, and then a two. So, what's gonna okay. happen is Game over. yeah. Uh, as as they are watching the the fire sort of snake around towards like whatever big like keg of alcohol wine or whatever is flam like some kind of flammable liquid. They're they're like, huh. It reached it and it didn't explode. And they go over and they stick their head in it to just double check. And then like, that's when it explodes. They're, they like fly back. And instead of like being such a force, like it was a little smaller than they expected, enough to move their little goblin body. And they just like splat against the like big grand glass window and slide down. And they go, your house is really nice. <laughs> that's what they do. 
They were trying to be manners because it had to be a success, right? So they had to use their manners. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what? <laughs> so that's the end of the Scraggle Durfs as well. <laughs> All right, Max. Oh, okay. Um. Well, R.I.P. R. all of our goblins. Uh, I think F. it was a noble endeavor. Yeah, please press F. So what <laughs> happens when all of the goblins die? Max? Well, obviously, you <laughs> don't. We have failed uh, in one our thing endeavors. That that is lovely about Goblin Quest is it does um, request that you put together an epilogue for your game. So we get to tell uh, a little bit of our story and to explain sort of maybe some of the fallout, maybe some of the remembered pieces. You know, what happened? It doesn't actually need to be like amazing or important. Obviously our lives were neither of those. Um, so, uh, you know, let's go around and, and do a little bit of, um, of telling the epilogue. Uh, oh, let's wait, see. one second. Oh, yes, please. one second. It actually says you take turns to pick another player's goblin and say what the other goblins will whisper about them in the coming nights. Oh, that's Got so it. nice. Yeah, you just go around so until so everyone's nice. had one of theirs talked about at least. Great. Okay. Better. Yeah. Thank you. Um, okay. Well, uh, let's uh, let's do it. Uh, Aki, I don't think I've had you start anything off yet tonight. Let's have okay. you start. In the, in the slimy mounds from which the goblins uh, are formed, whispers uh, ripple through the sludge of one great and powerful... Hmm, which one do I want to use? There's so many good ones. Uh, Flib. The great and wonderful Flib, who farted themselves to death, and how they saved their entire group from True. certain demise. The Fart Noodle family is so delighted to have one great and noble goblin among their their uh, their family that they briefly they briefly uh, entertain the notion changing the fart noodle clutch name to flib noodle then they decide it doesn't make any sense because what is a flib and what does it do and so they remain fart noodles but flib lives on in infamy i actually can i have one can i can i go ahead and go you sure can all right because i would like to do this before someone else takes takes them um so I would like to talk about Binko. Oh, Binko. Uh, Binko, who became parts of many others, and many others became parts of them, um, and really is now just uh, the ribbing uh, kind of story that other goblins tell about, well, you know, you, just, you were just uh, forged out of the muck. Don't go pulling a Binko now. Uh, and that just, it's just pulling a binko just is what is what hands down from week to week is nobody wants to pull a binko. <laughs> I almost forgot about that. Just instant death running. Instant. Right run it's so good. Didn't even get out of the muck. <laughs> uh, Randy, do you have any goblins you'd like to eulogize? Uh, uh, I feel like so many went by so fast at the end that I have a hard time. Uh, I guess, uh, so I'm trying to think, because I want to do one of Aki's, and I'm trying to think of a good moment. Like, I think the, uh, the story of, uh, the, which, which goblin was it that did the second swing of the wand and uh also got eaten by the worm. oh that was but, that was juno but, yeah i want to i want to memorialize juno because what they say is that uh for the rest of time the siemens uh like they they there was something to that magic that they had and so other goblin uh clutches are sort of 
wondering if there is really something to that magic stick that they like to wield for transformations because they there was something that so, there are whispers of how powerful that was that night when the they scepter of peacemaking yeah yeah so other goblins spend the rest of their time trying to steal it from their clutch but it's magic hand um, off my wand <laughs> and i would say that something that more than the need to talk, talk. but we lost everybody you, Max. talks Hang about on a second, it. Max. Oh no! Start Am over. I, hello. Yeah, right. you're there now. I would say that something that um, even more than just the goblins in town talk about, but that everybody in town talks about, <laughs> was Baldy's last stand. The moment that truly changed Goblinton forever. Because when Baldy blew the Duke and Duchess Floof Garden's grand estate into smithereens and burned down that whole house with all of the wealthy inside, it was truly what was considered the greatest moment of praxis in all of goblin history. If you can't eat the rich, might as well burn them. Exactly. And if they're just crispy enough, you can eat them again. <laughs> so this one goes out to Baldy. A toast to Baldy. Truly. What, what a line. The what most a line. Rev revolutionary of us all. <laughs> That's Goblin Quest. Yeah, <laughs> that is indeed Goblin Quest. And usually we would go until 10 p.m., but because we uh, sort of finished a little bit early today, we're going to be doing our traditional two-hour, like season one two-hour show today. Um, I just want to say thank you so much to everybody who followed and subscribed and donated. Um, we couldn't do any of this without you. Uh, next week is, of course, the finale. And we are going to be playing a very special game called Beak, Feather, and Bone. And we have some interesting challenges with this game that we're very, very excited to put into practice uh, in our finale. Um, just to remind you all, it is going to be pre-recorded, but hopefully you'll see a few of us in chat hanging out with you during the finale. Um, but we are very, very excited to share the finale of this season with all of you. Um, before we wrap it out for today, of course, I want to again thank Dom, who is our uh, technical producer and the person here in charge of Saving Throw Show, who works tirelessly to make sure all of this incredible content ends up on the air. Uh, make sure to send him love and chat as well, because he's awesome and we all love him. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and do some outro starting with our wonderful facilitator max isaacson tell them who you are max. what you're doing that stuff hey gang max isaacson again as per usual uh you can find me on twitter at brosis movies that's like brother sister movies uh and obviously next week for our big grand finale big feather and bone which is going to be a really exciting and lovely uh different change of pace for for this show so i'm very excited all right randy yeah randy hey everybody uh, i'm randy alvarenga you can follow me on twitter at uh roller raja that's r-o-l-l-e-r-r-a-j-a -A. uh today we just announced that uh harbingers season one over on the dragon and things network is going to start on august 10th that's a nice. tuesday uh, so what you should do is come here and check out the saving throw stuff and you can come and watch us when those finishes, uh, if anything finishes, but, uh, we would love to have you. I just want to make sure we, we support everybody that we love. Um, but yeah, th uh, I, I just want to say thank you. <laughs> okay. Amanda. Hello. Um, one more time. I am Amanda Powers. Uh, uh, I am mostly on Twitter um uh at geek powers so you can find me there for lots of super interesting takes about stuff Yay. specifically baseball you definitely want the her sports takes on balls baseball. yeah pew 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 
and I am Aki. You can find me on all the social media at Mix Genie in a Bottle. That's M-X-G-I-N-I-I-N-A-B-O-T-T-L-E. My full streaming schedule is over on my personal Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Shidari Aki. That's S-H-I-D-A-R-E-A-K-I. Uh, you can catch me next on Friday at 1 p.m. over on Distracted Elf's Twitch channel playing Desperate Gamble, a Star Wars Edge of the Empire actual play. Um, we are in our second season. We're having a lot of fun. And then, of course, you can see me also at on Saturday at 11.30 p uh, a.m. and Q times doing Alien uh, Colonial Marines. Um, that is our actual mm -hmm. play of the new Colonial Marine source book that's being put out, and it's pretty dope. Um, and then uh, some fun end of show business. Make sure you check out uh, this channel, Saving Throw Show, tomorrow on Thursday. Uh, Dark Alliance will be happening at 1 p.m. Pacific with Dom, Drac, Eric, and Phil. Um, don't miss that. And then, of course, we have Drac as a guest on New Pantheon this Sunday at 4 p.m. PT. Uh, he's going to come in and play one of our anime inspired god kids. Um, going to be a lot of fun definitely don't miss it and then of course we return with a bunch of other fun things next week as well but i've got to make sure uh because otherwise he will yell at me in chat uh or his wife will on tuesday uh um july 20th at 3 p.m uh join colin i will not be there I'm on vacation. Colin and our special guest Ruben Bressler will be playing oh. all of my me uh, all of my exes are in mech suits. Um, <laughs> yes, all of my exes are in mech suits. Great name. Yeah. That is amazing. Right? Yeah. Yeah. They're gonna be playing that on the 20th and the 27th. So definitely go and hang out I over must on NBK know. Twitch for that. I must know about that. <laughs> Yeah, That's I'm really real excited silly, to watch. I would imagine. Yeah, I'm excited to watch that. Like, it's gonna be dope. So yes, an absolute banger of a title is right. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna be us for tonight. Thank you for hanging out with us. Um, again, sorry it's a little bit shorter than usual, but uh, we will be back with more content yeah. next week for our season finale. You're just and, excellent uh, at dying. I don't know. We were very good at so dying good. today. You know what? Um, we, I'm very proud of us. All I of really, our... I want to just highlight how much this is a lesson in hubris. Because last, last week, it was week not we like were this. so eager to die, and we could have just saved rerolls. We could have done stuff that was like gonna help us, and we're like, ah, well, that, we're invincible. We're 16. Mm. We'll never die. <laughs> Everything's fine. Wah, no. Wah. Learn uh, from us. Learn from my mistakes. Or don't and have fun. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely check out and support this game because it's fucking awesome. It is. Ooh, and... I do want to say we have a surprise on 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 next week's show. Right. Um, oh. Where, yeah. Oh yes. Just, yes, yes, yes. We have. It's a we it's a, a sartorial surprise. surprise. Yes, yes. We have a fun fun. Some shenanigans are happening. All I'm gonna say. There all are some shenanigans right. taking place. In any case, so, remember, go away. you do not need a game master to play games. Just grab one of these awesome GM list TTRPGs, a few of your friends, and go the fuck at it. We will see you all next week for the finale of the season. Until then, everyone, have fun, play games, be explorative. Thank you.